Serotonin Mimi Do It, a podcast. Podcast Preparations, Episode 2. Hello, today is August 2nd, and it's 22.49 currently. Um, I wasn't originally planning to make a recording tonight, but the Serotonin Mimi Do It, that is the title of this podcast, and that is the whole reason that I've even started it, is that the serotonin makes me do things. So tonight's topics are pretty much about this podcast. Um, Mainly it's about the preparation for it. Uh, I've been doing a lot today um, outside of just recording. Um, So like, first of all, I made subtitles for episode one of the podcast that I released yesterday. Which was actually a fun experience. I went and used the automated uh, subtitles that YouTube created and then I went and formatted them correctly so that they would fit with the audio and the video uh, for the podcast episode. And it was actually, like I said, it was pretty fun. I didn't think it was too daunting of a task. It took like two to three hours, I think, to write over 3K words. Uh, I didn't realize I could say that many words in like 20, 23 minutes, but apparently I can. Apparently I can really talk. Um, but I did find out that I say, um, uh, and I trail off quite a bit, even with these topic flows. But I don't scrape out my, uh, these episodes. I do want them to be as raw and stream as consciousness as much as possible. I just think it's more of a fun experience and probably more entertaining to listen to if a little frustrating just because I might be either repeating myself with certain topics or uh, I lose my train of thought in the middle of a sentence. But that's still kind of interesting to see how I'm functioning without having any sort of true guide. I can show you what my stuff looks like this time in my content journal. And it's it's pretty pretty simple. Like it's just a little bullet point of like what I want and and this one's just not even really in order. Like I said, I wasn't planning on recording today just because I had launched episode one yesterday and I didn't want to get so caught up into the serotonin that I started recording a lot. But I was itching so bad that to do this that I was like, okay, well, might as well. What's the harm of it? I get an episode out and I get an episode out. Like that that's the biggest harm there. So outside of making subtitles, I also started making thumbnails, which episode one now has a proper thumbnail instead of just my face. <laughs> and this one doesn't have a thumbnail yet, but when it's posted it will. I have to go in and make it, like I said. This one's unplanned. It's super impulsive, spontaneous. But I'm having fun. I recorded like an eight minute snippet before and then it gave basically birth to this much longer episode hopefully. So yeah. But like my process with the thumbnails, um, I normally use my iPad. Like I take a picture and then I use my iPad and then use Procreate and handwrite my titles, which is what I was doing before uh, with my previous seven epi- my previous seven YouTube videos, but I kind of remembered that Canva's a thing, and so I used Canva to make my thumbnails. And yeah, they're super simple, but they make me happy. I like the colors. Alice helped me pick them out um, because if it was me, they'd probably be clashing. I like it when colors contrast. It's eye-catching. It kind of hurts my eyes sometimes, but I'm also like, "Mm, makes me happy. So I had to go for a mustard yellow color for my thumbnails just because this podcast is called Serotonin Made Me Do It. 
mustard yellow, any shade of yellow, makes me happy. Why not make myself happy with my thumbnails? And that's also why there's a sunflower. Uh, sunflowers are one of my favorite flowers. Sunflowers and Lily of the Valleys are my two favorites. And so I put a sunflower on there. I was like, why not? And I mean, the thumbnails aren't set in stone for the podcast. They can always change. They can always get better. I can always get better as I'm furthering along with these episodes. Just like at the beginning of this episode, you'll see an intro that I made. Mm, I did not know that Canva can make little snippets. That was something I learned today. And so I made one for episode one as well. So I'm kind of wondering if I should re-upload episode one with the thumbnail already being there and then the new introduction. But as I just said, I do like the idea of seeing how I progress and how I get better with this podcast. So I think I'm going to leave it alone for now and just let it go. I mean, I did that with the first YouTube video that I posted with the ambient music. I just decided that if I was going to make something, I'm going to make it the way I want and not how others make it. Though I'm not that there's anything wrong with doing it that way, but I want to make content that I'm happy with and content that I would like to see. So things are going to probably be like a little weird and not as pleasing to some people, but it makes me happy and that's the important part. Um, not only was I like making thumbnails and intros today, but I was also planning out another episode. So this episode's not going to be episode two. Originally episode two was going to have a different topic and it was going to, you know, be relevant towards this one. Not that this isn't relevant, but it was going to be about serotonin, which it still will be. So sneak peek, uh, episode three will be about serotonin and what it is, its functions, and it will just be me geeking out about the rabbit hole that I fell down in while I was on a Snapchat video call with Alice, um, while they played Resident Evil Village. <laughs> so, uh, that was, that was a lot of fun. I love going down rabbit holes with research and I say research, but it's not like there's a lot of differing informations out there about serotonin. So it's like I found a couple articles that come that came from organizations and clinics. And so I compiled what they all had in similarities. And that's what I'm going to talk about in episode three. But there's probably going to be another topic just because I think a podcast in length of anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes is pretty comfortable. Like it's enough talking to where it's where you're able to cover a good amount and give your honest opinions on something, but it's not too much talking that you're just like, okay, I'm kind of ready for it to be over. And plus two, I like the 20 to 30 minute long videos just because I typically have the time to give to that. Definitely when it's something like this where I have to process what's being said and actually pay attention to it. So, yeah. And then, um, on top of the thumbnails, intros, and planning out episodes, I was also relearning iMovie and uh, QuickTime Player because those are the softwares available to me and they're what I use to make these videos. So it's like I was getting more comfortable with iMovie, um, editing things, adding in transitions, so I was playing with episode one's footage and just like adding things in, playing with the audio because the audio was kind of quiet. I think I'm going to leave it that way though, uh, just because if I use my blue Yeti and I turn the gain up more, I think you'll hear more uh, ambient noise just because my room is not soundproof and the walls are kind of thin. So, and I also have two pets that sleep in my room. I have a dog named Mabel. Uh, she's a black lab boxer mix. She, you might be able to hear her right now. 
She's snoring in her sleep. And then I also have a cat named Baby Girl. She's in Maine Coon. You can see her in a couple of my other YouTube videos. Um, eventually, when I get a camera, I'll probably add videos of like Mabel playing or Baby Girl sleeping instead of just having video of me talking. Um, yeah. But also, like, once I get my own camera, the, the podcast is probably going to have some better uh, video than just me staring at a screen and or not staring at the screen and fidgeting. Um, and then I also, in preparation for the podcast, outside of uh, getting more familiar with the editing software and making stuff for it, um, I also got a Logitech Litra Beam light stand. Uh, I probably said that wrong. The subtitles will have the correct spelling of it. And I'll also probably have links in the description for it so people can find what I'm talking about. I didn't do a lot of research into like what kind of light ring I would need, but I do like Logitech. I have a Logitech webcam that I use to record these videos and what I was using before to record my other YouTube videos. But I was also using like my iPad and my iPhone and that just, my iPad's dead so it's not really like available right now. But it also made making videos really complicated because I use my Blue Yeti for my audio. And so it's like I would have to be very careful about when I went into editing, uh, overlaying the audio correctly onto the video, um, which wouldn't be too much of a problem once I get my own camera, uh, because then I can just take out the audio and overlay my voice on top of it since the audio in those videos won't be very necessary. Um, but anyway, I got the light stand. It's really nice. It was only like a hundred dollars at Target which I think is pretty good considering um, these can get pretty expensive pretty fast and two I don't really know how long I'll carry the podcast on just because you know I said I go through cycles with my hobbies and this could be a very intense cycle um, where I make podcast episodes for a while and then there's absolutely nothing from me again, like a, a like the year long gap I had with my previous YouTube videos. But to be fair, a lot happened um, in that year. It's like I moved, I got in a depressive episode that lasted for months, and then um, I didn't really have the motivation to make anything again, just because I didn't want to struggle with the recordings. But, yeah, Joe Zell was a huge inspiration to making this podcast. And getting my mic back was a huge thing, too. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I got this light stand because of the fact that it was Logitech, and I'm familiar with their brand. And I also really like the design of it. I don't have a lot of desk space. Um, I have a foldable table with like a soft pad as my desk. Uh, I've been meaning to update, upgrade my desk setup, but it just keeps, it's something I keep forgetting about doing, but also other things come up that I need to get. So it's like right now I have like my laptop on a, a stand, so I have like some space underneath. My switch is also set up here because I use the monitor. Um, the LG Ultra Gear monitor that I have as my gaming uh, screen too. And then there's the Blue Yeti that takes space. And now the, the light stand takes space. And then I also have like a keyboard that I write on, a mechanical keyboard, um, which makes like this really nice clicky sound because it has brown switches in it and I love them. They're tactile. 
Um, they got like a nice little bump and they make like that nice funk. And then I also have the Apple Magic Mouse too. So it's like I still need space for that. So it's like my desk is a little cramped, but my room's also a little cramped. I have a lot of stuff. I've got like four bookshelves. I got an art cabinet thing. And then it's like I got a dog in here that's like 95 pounds. So she's kind of big. She takes up space too. And then, yeah, it's like I got a giant dresser as well. Maybe one day I'll do a room tour video. Maybe. We'll see. Um, outside of the light beam and all that, I was also trying to figure out how to do better about my recording. I don't want to record late at night all the time because there's a risk of like waking people up. Um, but I also can't record too often during the day just because I live in a slightly loud neighborhood, but also I have a job outside of this, like many other people do. And so my job has, my job for the most part has this coming in anywhere from like six in the morning to like two in the afternoon. And then we stay until seven or eight most nights, which isn't late. It's not that late. I could still record, but I work as a produce stalker. So it's like I'm lifting 40 to 50 pounds every time I pick something up. Like anytime I pick up apples or I pick up like potatoes, like bags of potatoes. Um, so it's like I get tired from it. Not as tired as before when I started working there in March. That was exhausting. Like that first whole month was exhausting. But I wasn't used to lifting that much or doing such um, manual labor for a retail job. But I don't get as tired now, but I'm also not sleeping well. Um, so it's like, I'm in like a weird state where sometimes I'm energized when I get home and sometimes I just come home and I knock out and... Uh, but it's like a super not restful sleep. So it's like I wake up a couple hours later and then I can't go back to sleep and then I'm just like dead the rest of the day. Um, but I'll figure that out like I did before. It's not, it's not something that's gonna be super complicated. It might just be one of those things that as soon as I get home from work, I'll make the videos and make sure that I'm pre-planning before I record so it's not as last minute like this one will be um because i'm not even sure if i'll get this out while it's still august 2nd because it is now currently 2307 but we'll see i mean even if it doesn't like it's still gonna be early enough into the night that it doesn't really matter and even if i do post it like on august 3rd at like 12 uh double zero one like it doesn't matter I mean I'm the only one really watching these videos outside of my friends so yeah um there is something that I would like to do for this podcast that uh, might be a little excessive but I would like to soundproof my room just this back wall behind me uh, just because it's connected to my brother's room and he plays video games at night and he talks with people online and sometimes you can hear him and I would also like to soundproof my door that way my voice isn't carrying down the hall even with the door closed because um, I'm not real sure how long my voice can last at being this quiet because it gets kind of gravelly sometimes and that's a little rough in my throat but, I mean, I'll see. Um, and it's like, if anything, maybe I can just hang up like a blanket uh, when I decide to do these things. Or I can go on Amazon and actually find the soundproofing material that I would need and stick it up. Because like I said in episode one, I'm going to be here in this area where I'm at currently a little longer than when I first started recording videos. So I can settle in a little more than I could before. 
Um, I'm just checking here to see if there's anything else to say. But it looks like I covered everything. So, and the recordings, yeah, the recordings at a good time now. So, I think we're going to say good night to everybody and thank you for listening to this episode two. Um, it's a very random one, but you know, yeah. Thank you guys for listening and have a good night. Bye bye.